winter hot and spring I'll keep on loving you I'll do Street Records proudly presents DJ Sugar's magazine. I'm honoured, blessed, privileged. Wow, yes I am. To be here today with the Junior Soul. Oh yes, the Junior Mervyn. Welcome, Junior Mervyn, to DJ Sugar's magazine. Welcome, Sugar. I'm very honoured to be on your magazine uh, as a reggae warrior. You are. I'm here with the reggae warrior. Oh yes, reggae's part of reggae's foundation, a legend, a true, true, true legend. Tell me, Junior, so many years in the business and the staying power, what is the secret? Um, discipline and exercise and faith and love from the Father. You have to have a amount of faith and um, believe in yourself. As a child, did you sing in school at the choirs? Yeah, um, I, I went to Port Antonio Junior School and I sing on concert there. Um, there was a teacher, her name is Henry. She um, recognized my talent very soon. She and Miss Buckley and Miss Smith. But Miss Henry was the kind of teacher that I have to sing when I come to our class. So she was a, she pushed me, Miss Henry. So a lot of thanks, gratitude goes out to Miss Henry. Henry yeah, Miss Henry, yeah, man. I see. And so from Miss Henry, then did you go to yeah. Kingston? No, I went to um, Port Antone Senior School. There um, I was taught by Miss Hall. And, um, she 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 talking part of hey boy, I mean you can sing. And she had a concert and I sang, you know, and she said, Yeah man, one day you'll make it. And that was true words. Yeah. Every school I went, you know, and after I, when I left, um my grandmother died, so I left and went to Montego Bay and I went to Montego Bay High School, Montego Bay Technical High School. I sang at all those schools and all the teachers them. Um I always say I'm gonna make it, you know. And I worked once in my life at an in-bank shop, that's the first I ever worked. And I was sitting, singing, and the, the manager of the shop come and said, he was an Indian, he said, Sonny, have you ever listened to your voice? And the rest of the workers said, why don't you try singing? <laughs> there are many hotels here, why don't you try singing? And eventually, the other week, I was fired. Um, cause they said this guy is really a singer, you know. So they fired me to help me to push me. Solomon was the wisest man, but he never know the secret of a woman. Solomon was the wisest man, but he never know the secret of a woman. Junior Murphy, you have a very distinctive, unmistakable voice. How you reach those high, high, high notes. Well, those notes are not very high, high, high like what you believe, you know. I do. Because I, I'm singing lower now. <laughs> I used to sing higher. Really? <laughs> but I find that when you take the notes, they are too fine, very thin. So I kind of cut down. I was recording at Lee Scratch Studio a couple of years ago, and I hit the, 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 um, the high note, and it is his console. Yes. It was a four track, and his console get troubled. Because and of the high said, notes. Said, you have to cut down, man. You things so high, brother. I'm a console to rot it. <laughs> Not long ago, I was living in the Gambia in Africa. Have you ever been to Africa? No, no, no. I'm about to go there still. I have to tell you that they absolutely adore, they respect, they breathe, they eat, they sleep reggae music. That's very good. I went to Israel. What was that like? Mm, I did a TV show in Israel. What was it like? And two two shows back and back and back. Very humble people, man. I met um, some of his last cousins. Yeah. Yeah, see, I must come to Africa. People need me in Africa, you know? Definitely. Mm. I mean, Police and Thieves is an anthem. And it was as if it was written yesterday because it's still very valid for today. Lee Perry told me that, but when, when I was young, I didn't know what he meant. <laughs> and he said, Jonah, I sang and I got dead, you know? So sing it good. <laughs> <laughs> he, he is 
I record it over and over about 12 times I do it, you know. And when you see that I was tired, I'm all right. That all right. <laughs> Mm. Lee, Scratch Lee Scratch Perry has definitely left a great mark for you, hasn't he not? Yeah, um, musically but not financially. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody like... I'm getting a good vibes for it. Everybody like it. Um... I have no favorite, you know, but most of the people seem like um, love and a friend, fire and smoke, will come on back and, and the diva now, the woman, them, sweet and, diva, and the pussy footing around, and, then, <laughs> and I the think diva, the diva is what they grab. It is not released yet, you know, so we used to have just a promo to find out the, the songs that the people will grab. And it's definitely grab, cause everybody grab on to the the diva mostly everybody grab to the yes, diva so it's a beautiful track i have to say that most of the, i've listened to the album from track one to track 16 and uh every single track is not a disappointment on the contrary what an album what an album congratulations good work you know um it's about four years we have this album you know my god yeah we play it around to find out the vibes and it it, it seems like the time is the time has told us that this is now what advice would you give to a young newcomer that's coming into the reggae business today in yes. entertainers yes just make sure that they have a good go to school have a good education first before they do anything because you have to be educated to go along the route Shortcut, draw blood. And long road, draw a sweat. Uh-huh. Yeah, I think we're on the long road here. <laughs> yeah, so... <laughs> Not everybody going to take the long road, you know. Really? But who take the short road, they find themselves in a mess and stress. And that's, like, mess and stress. Can't handle the mess and the stress. <laughs> <laughs> Prefer the sweat. <laughs> Prefer the sweat. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so once again we're here to because in November the new album will be released but the the name of the album once again for me on stage on stage some fantastic tracks in that album here in London it is London it is uh, July the 28th and what do you think about the album you think it will go far as a... I think the album is fantastic there's not one track that is the, you can't say I love this track more than that track. No, oh, the whole track. Uh huh. So it was built. Uh -huh. so, it was built. Uh -huh. so I respect you. We salute the people that built that. Blessings, my Earl Jackson and Junior Mervyn. Ah, blessings goes out to Earl Jackson and Junior Mervyn for the on stage album. You heard it here first, DJ Sugar's magazine. It is big. It is large. It's worldwide. It's coming at you very soon. Oh, yes, it is. Thank you. Blessings, sugar. And may God bless and keep you. I have to say that I'm blessed, honoured, and I feel privileged to have had this time with you here today. London, July the 28th. Junior Mervyn, Junior Soul, DJ Sugar, doing it together. 2011. Respect you every single time. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Mwah! <laughs> Woo! Junior Mervyn! <laughs> This is Juna Mervyn and Darcy and Sugar, the number one female disc jock worldwide. Man, tell them, man, she's big and broad. Juna Mervyn says so, because he goes up. So.